Berkeley. This is Dina Serrano for La Raza Chronicles. We have in the studio John Santos, five-time Grammy Award nominee and U.S. Fontenelle's fellow. And he's one of the foremost exponents of Afro-Latin music in the world today. But he's also a man of feeling and ideas. And here are some of them. We in Oakland and in solidarity with the greater international community of those truly interested in human rights, are furious and outraged at the recent involuntary manslaughter verdict handed to the white Bart policeman who fatally shot Oscar Grant, a young African-American man, in the back while he was handcuffed on the floor of my Fruitvale neighborhood BART station on January the 1st, 2009. Not one black person on the jury this unfortunately is not a bad dream, a movie, nor an isolated incident, but it is our worst nightmare. As Arsenio Rodriguez said, La justicia donde está? Falta mucho pa' llegar. Where is the justice? There's a long way to go. Please do not be trapped by the billions spent to subliminally convince you that it's all about the dollar, that the problem is not ours, that government and business give a freak about you. Our mental, physical, and spiritual health, environment, schools, food, housing, democratic ideals, and general well-being, to say nothing of the economy, are being destroyed by preemptive war, corporate greed, unscrupulous, arrogant politicians, and mounting daily attacks on our liberty and rights. We live in a police state with our freedoms being legislated into oblivion. The elite few treat the rest of us as fodder, slaves, and expendable collateral damage. They have made an ugly joke of ethics, morals, and the Constitution. We're not heading towards an ugly norm. It is here now. Krishnamurti sagely advised, it is no sign of good health to be well adjusted to a sick society. The ancient and destructive concept of empire and profit, above all, has run its course and is in its ugly death throes still trying to milk every last cent out of the soul of any man, woman, or child, even as it is internationally exposed and condemned. There's more than enough abundance and wealth to end the rampant suffering and restore dignity to the planet. Where is the love? As Marvin Gaye so eloquently put it several decades ago, makes you want to holler, throw up both your hands. It's up to all of us to be proactive and continue to expose and bury the racism, bigotry, lies, and crimes against humans and humanity that are being so boldly carried out on every front in the so-called free world in the name of religion, freedom, and justice. The non-separation of church, state, and business is not a family value. Using terms like Patriot Act, No Child Left Behind, and the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act to suspend freedom, recruit children into a war-glorifying system, and make untold profits from the unnecessary deaths and sickness of law-abiding citizens does not change the horrific nature of the acts. Claiming to be against these crimes but doing nothing has only played into the plans of those that enjoy the status quo. These travesties are especially ugly as they are instigated by those supposedly charged to protect us. As Paul Robeson clearly stated, the artist must choose between freedom and slavery. As a father, an artist, and a human being with a heart and conscience, my back is against the wall. I am at war with the capitalism gone berserk and God is on our side, colonial BS that is at the root of global and local injustice against workers, the poor, women, children, the elderly, sexual preference, and folks of color. Katrina, the BP oil disaster, and the exponential raising of the cost of living while bailing out banks, lenders, and other corporations, and raising the minimum wage by a mere 50 cents are serious indicators of the dire conditions into which our society has deteriorated. 
We must use every metaphysical, scientific, and spiritual force at our disposal to resist the painful absurdity of corruption and injustice. We can all do more to move towards the real love that is revolutionary by nature and cannot be erased by greed, ignorance, nor hate. Political and cultural activism are necessary. Here in the San Francisco Bay Area, community organizations such as the Eastside Cultural Center, La Peña Cultural Center, the Mission Cultural Center, Galeria de la Raza, the Herbabuena Gardens Festival, the Jazz School, the San Francisco Jazz Festival, the Museum of the African Diaspora, Loco Bloco, the San Jose Jazz Festival, the Malonga Casquelord Center for the Arts, Los Sensotles Cultural Center, El Tecolote Magazine, the Red Poppy Art House, the Oakland Public Conservatory, Intersection for the Arts, Access San Francisco, and radio stations KPFA, KPOO, KCSM, KKUP, and KALW are just a few organizations among many that are doing wonderful work around progressive art and culture. If you have not done so already, find your local organizations and centers in every corner of the earth that support progressive art and please get involved. Organize, vote, activate. This is urgent. People of all ages are dying unnecessarily as we speak. We need you now more than ever. Thank you for your ears and your hearts in solidarity. You have just heard John Santos, five-time Grammy Award nominee and U.S. artist Fontenelle's fellow and one of the foremost exponents of Afro-Latin music in the world today. This next song is by John Santos y el coro folclórico Kindembo from his album La Guerra No. Sí, sí. 
podría producir. Just heard La Guerra No by John Santos y el Coro Folklore.